Hello, my name is Tiger San and welcome to Immersive Let's Plays. Today we got episode number 13 and I got something really interesting to show you guys. There's a mod that I downloaded, it's called Get Out of My Face. And I think it works for Mia tremendously. To head out. It I matches their her mo so bad. Hi. About to head out. My safe house. Move. And this is exactly why. You get to push people when they're in your way. And you can Should also do that in combat. I am not gonna say I'm gonna refrain from using it, even though it makes her more overpowered than she already is. Stay out of my way. <laughs> it's awesomely fun. <laughs> to keep doing it. I, I just can't stop. I, I, I just have to keep doing it. Get out of my way. Everywhere I go. And the good thing is, even if you do it to your friends, it doesn't get them uh, hostile once you do it. And by default, it has the strength set up a little bit higher of the push. But it kind of seems like she had some special superpowers then as if she had super strengths because it pushes somebody pretty hard they actually fly so I lowered it a little bit so out of my way it matches the assume you're being watched always how Mia feels get the hell out of my face you know she feels strong she's muscular she's jacked so in my opinion this force of the push get out of my way matches the <laughs> her look um we're about to see how it how it works in real life situations when battling we have a, a real mission for change from railroad because i'm pretty sick of dead drops already some of the people you meet will get out of my way. <laughs> yeah, so I was saying I'm pretty sick of dead drops. So this is going to be one of the first for long time quests that actually has something deeper going on. I'm going to meet uh, Dr. Amari in Good Neighbor. She's the one that reprograms sense. So we gotta clean the route for them to uh, be able to transport the sense after reprogramming and cleaning their memory. So we got shitloads of sense to kill, and as I remember correctly, we're not gonna be doing that quest alone because Gloria or Glory. Glory is her name, I think. So Glory is going to be there too. By supposedly by mistake. And we're going to do that mission together. So it should be a pretty interesting quest. Especially with the new ability that Mia has. Somehow pushing people out of the way is friggin awesome especially considering that she is a jacked brawler you know so it's it totally matches her mo so I'm excited to see how it looks and how it works in battle I did test it out a little bit and I noticed that it's uh, a little bit laggy so when there's a lot of action around you and you have to do do it fast it sometimes lags out and I wasn't fighting a lot of enemies either I was just fighting like two super mutants I think and it did lag out sometimes so we'll see how is it gonna work with uh, sense and I'm um, from what I remember in this mission, there's going to be shitloads of enemies. So see how it works in 
real life battle simulations uh, situations <laughs> I mean should be interesting And it's a good thing that we go into Good Neighbor because I got to get some ballistic fiber for my armor. Ballistic Weave Mark III upgrade. And let me see if I got enough money because that was like 2,000. Yeah, I got enough. I didn't mark it in my bit boy. So let's just mark it. Mia's getting so powerful nowadays that I'm actually considering just running around without a sneak. Because it's not, it's not like it used to be when I was pretty afraid of getting noticed by anyone to not get killed this is way different somebody notices me oh yeah, okay I can just run up to them push them so they fall down and as they get up I can just freaking keep punching their asses and pretty much kill them I I get it is gonna make the game a lot easier but let's just say I'm not playing this game for realism in terms of how hard would it be I just want to enjoy it and I just want to get that powerful feel from Mia because she's supposed to have that powerful feel about her that she's able to push somebody knock them over from the ground and then as they get up punch their freaking faces in the ground literally and kill them that way I just want to get that feel from her she's meant to be that way so yeah I know I understand you know it's it's making the game way too easy but I'm actually thinking about starting new character after I'm finished with Mia and playing on the hardest difficulty level on the survival because I find it kind of uh, challenging and I'm not gonna say pleasant I was about to say pleasant interesting to be able to you know rough yourself up through all the difficulties that you have around you and uh, have to eat, have to drink, have to sleep, and uh, all those things. Don't have no hand up. Cleo. Don't worry. I only test the weapons on customers I don't like. Feel free to browse. Oh, thank you. So that means that you like me, Cleo. I... I've got a few minutes to browse. Each weapon. Man, I love on how her face looks it. now. So much. Okay, so it's not gonna be a um, B ballistic fiber. It's gonna be a shipment of ballistic fiber S. Shipment of ballistic fiber. Jesus, twenty one hundred bucks. I mean caps. But well, we gotta get it. Gotta do what we gotta do. Boy, sister, you hold on to that. Sweet, what? I didn't hear what she was saying. What, you dry? Head over to the third rail. Hey, you ever get that thing done? What thing? You know, the thing. The thing with the things. Oh, right. That. Yeah, I got that all handled. The thing with the thing. Ever been to kill or be killed? Some fine-looking weapons. Uh, 
No, I yeah. I I do the killing around. Hate the institute. Follow the freedom trail, sister. I already have. Hello. That's a good deal. You won't believe what's in the is it food or not section. I'm afraid to ask. Is it food or not? Is it something that this guy's chopping? Uh, whatever the hell that is. It kind of looks like a regular meat. Hell of a load you're carrying. Better sell some to Daisy before someone swipes it. Nobody's gonna swipe anything from me. Uh, are you daft, sister? Smell that. That's freedom. Yeah. I know. I I've been born free. All right, let's see what else is going on in this town, and we have to get around to doing our quest, actually. Yeah, because if I get into character like that, I can just spend hours. Holy shit. Is it just me or this steam is new? I don't remember noticing it before. But getting back to what I was about to say, I could just spend hours role playing like that. You been to Diamond City? Good noodles. Bunch of assholes. Yeah. Yeah. Did it get rough? Good noodles, bunch of assholes. Sammy too. He sure as hell didn't act like him. Institute thinks they can replace people with synth in this town. They got another thing coming. <sighs> what am I gonna tell his mother? Hey, just your friendly neighborhood watch. Shooting down Institute spies as they crop up. What happened here? Ah, poor Sammy got snatched up by the Institute. Then those bastards send this low rent double in his place. It's pathetic. They didn't make it two days before everyone realized something was wrong with him. Then we made the call, and here we are. Speaking of which, I gotta figure out where this body needs to get dumped. Why don't you get going? Yeah. Got a reason to be bothering me. I just had to shoot up a synth body snatcher over here. Wasted good bullets. Oh, yeah. Could have done better yourself, huh? Well, I'm sorry you haven't had the lovely experience of killing a man who's wearing a friend's face. Now get lost. The Institute in this sense. Not so That guy now. did not get the joke. Alright. I was so itching to actually push somebody, but they did not say anything. To make me do it. I mean, I know I could do it, but I, I need to have a reason. Mia doesn't push anybody around without a reason. She's not a bully. She's a good person. You've stepped into the wrong place, sweetheart. You don't look like you need the memory den. Do you even know what we do here? I don't know, and I don't care, lady. I didn't come here to see you. Seriously, this chick seems like she's got. Taking it all in, Overinflated sense of herself. You're not that important, lady. Does it involve a back room and a handful of singles? 
Like that ring? Oh, you have the wrong idea, honey. I don't sell skin. I sell memories. And let me tell you, reliving an experience, the right experience... My memories are just fine. Else. But it's not for everyone. I get it. I'll go. I'm sorry we couldn't help you, sweetheart. Maybe some other time. You. You are the one that helped H I am so correct? pissed that Bethesda the did not right now. put the lines were you hoping to in say there. Goodbye? I don't advise it. He's far past remembering anything about his old life. Okay. Now when she's finished saying something, I can say something. I'm so pissed that Bethesda did not put the lines that would put you on top. You know, she is having overinflated sense of herself and she, I did Speak not walk... Now. Shut up. I'm not talking to you now. I didn't walk in to her to walk in here to talk to her. I did walk in here, obviously, but not to speak to her, and she's having this overinflated sense of herself. So there should be a way of I didn't hear that. pretty what? much <sighs> shutting her up, saying, Lady, I didn't come to see you. Shut up. Or something like that, you know? Sometimes those dialogues miss those lines that you would love to say in that moment but you can't say it Will because say something or not? there are no lines to say it and that's those are one of those little details that pisses me off in this game uh, what was she saying I forgot give him any good memories meetings with sexy strangers that kind of thing? It's a memory wipe, not a fantasy machine. <laughs> His new world is very mundane and very normal. Nothing that would draw suspicion. Now, what's your plan for moving him? I wish she could wink when saying that. <laughs> the plan? Kill everything in my way. That's the plan. Glad you thought this through. Yes, for all five seconds. Malden Metro Center. That's where your problem is. I'm leaving H-222 and his future in your hands. Once he's gone, we never had this conversation. He was never here. Before you leave, take the holotape on the table. It's a personal message for your ears only. Yes, uh, they gave me an order. And Mia thought this true. For all five seconds. And the uh, major idea is to kill everything that tries to kill us. That's uh, pretty much how it works. <laughs> okay. Oh, great. What was the name of that? Hmm. Ah, this one. The doctor said I could say goodbye. I've decided to have the operation I know I'll lose all my memories I don't want you to be sad I, I have nightmares and this world the SRB being hunted I, I just can't handle it everyone says I'll be safer if I start a new life I, I know I'll, I'll be happier my only regret is I'll forget old man Stockton high rise you looking back no there's only fear worse than fear but I will miss my new friends it's time H2 I uh, thanks yeah but this moment See, in this particular short moment, I was able to show you two totally opposite things about Bethesda's games. Like, this, those little things that I don't like 
and here you have amazing thing that's uh, creating this immersion this depth you know it's you know it's just a synth it's a robot supposedly not a robot but synthetic human being and this recording uh, hits some strings you know if you try to get yourself into the role you, the, of the character that you're actually playing you remember how the situation was when you met H2 and stay free sister and how deep felt this recording was it sounded that way and ah no, I don't know I love those things about this game peace sister I just I just catch myself that I keep forgetting how how awesome this game can be and I I just keep forgetting those moments that give that game depth because there are moments like that Yeah running from something welcome home No I'm running. Yeah. Not running from something, running into something. Running into trouble, that's me as MO. She always runs into trouble, but she always comes out of it with a shield, not on it. So that's pretty badass. <laughs> yeah. You know, ever since the first Fallout game came out, this chain of games that came out since the beginning of this this uh, Fallout story in this history of the games called Fallout of course at first they were made by Interplay and Interplay made those games 10 times deeper but then again they didn't have to put that much work into everything else into environments into models into scripting and uh, writing the game itself I'm, I'm talking about coding the game games were simpler so they could put much more effort into the story and then again the interplay was a lot better with stories than Bethesda is but I gotta say Bethesda is getting better Fallout 4 is way better than Skyrim in my opinion when it comes to dialogues the story itself I like it a lot more and what I was I see I lose my train of thought I started saying that Fallout games since the beginning they had a st and they still do they have the top shelf place in my heart this those are my favorite games I don't know why but this this whole story about post apocalyptic environment you know after nuclear war and it's all mixed with sort of 50s 60s you know the music and everything I don't know it's I love it so much and for the longest time I didn't have that feeling since playing Fallout 1 and 2 Fallout 3 was nah, okay I guess but it was too... It didn't have that feel. Only Fallout 4... It's still not where Fallout 1 and 2 were. But it's getting closer, it's getting warmer. Bethesda is getting warmer to recreate that, that feeling that Interplay's games have used to have and I'm hoping that Fall 5 
is going to be a bullseye. I'm really hopeful about it. Hi. Bye. Okie dokie. I love to role play. Yeah, but see, since I started making those videos, I did not really actually get into my character and try to feel what she feels and get into her character and act like she would. I don't know why I didn't do that. I just, I don't know. I just didn't. I just kept forgetting to do it. I just kept playing, you know, and fighting the enemies. That was it. But ah, you gotta love role playing your characters when you play those kind of games. Uh, hello. kind of weird light dog armor oh let's let's take it maybe uh, at some point I'm gonna get dog meat back so we could use this ar armor to do it manually but I guess I'm gonna have to do it this way hey push him there we go yes yeah, so I guess this see I'm pressing R but it's taking a sweet time to actually do it You damaged my arm, you naughty boy. There, all better. How close are we to a level? Oh my god. Quite far away. Um, did I loot him? I did not. Did I? I don't think Super Mutant's orders are going to be that interesting. So I'll just leave him where they are. I'm kind of going the wrong way. I'm just going along the road. My god. I love this grass mod. Grass world was it called I think. Or grassland. I'm not sure. I don't remember. 
but doesn't make the game look freaking awesome. Yes, it does. Whoa, this looked like a living creature for a second. I haven't tried pushing animals yet. So I'm wondering if it's even possible. Oh shit. Oh. Well, I guess it didn't work. Hello. Boy it gets glitched out sometimes. Okay. <laughs> this scorpion was not nice. That's all I can say about him. And that, uh, it's one of a few enemies that Mia still has that uh, I think she's not level up to deal with. Oops. Totally forgot about this. No, not this button. Jeez, I keep pressing wrong buttons. Oh my god. Give me a break. One by one, please. Oh my god. There's too many of you guys. Way too many of you. Oh my god. There's a legendary goo. It's not a good idea to get tangled with those guys. Legendary ghouls? No. Regular ghouls? Okay. I can deal with that. Not legendary. If he was alone, maybe, but not friggin' 20 of them at once. Oh, God. Time it takes for your character to get up to his feet. After performing Vat's attack. Whew. Wow. That was about friggin' I don't know how many, but a lot. Hello, mister. Hi. Hey there, doll. If you're interested in making some easy scratch, my boss is putting together a crew for a new job. 
What's the job? You gotta get the details from Bobby. You know, Bobby No-No's and Good Neighbor. I don't know nothing else about it. I am vaguely familiar with Bobby. She seems like she's a little bit mm, out of her mind. I see steps and panting like a dog, but it's probably upstairs, so I'm just gonna ignore it. Glory. I don't like working with her because she's making too much noise. We got assigned the same damn job. With all our compartmentalization bullshit, this sort of shit happens. You got yeah. the job from the good neighbor side. Yeah. I got it from Griswold's safe house. Did you really have to stand behind me to talk to me? That's the price we paid for security. Don't tell me you buy into that crap. That Shit. crap is well, keeping you safe, sister. Here. What do you say the two heavies join forces and rock the heavens a little? Been wanting to see you in action with my own eyes. You are way too ignorant, lady. But I can't say I don't like kicking ass. Let's do this, Glory. You lead the way, my friend. I don't mind that I do. Thank you for letting me actually do Out of this. My way. Large in charge. That's the best way to describe me. Uh. I guess. Okay, let me save this. Do we have anything interesting? Stim packs! Yeah, those things are pretty useful and necessary. Anything else? Nope. My Griswold boys gave me nothing about this place. Alright, let me save All I again. Malden Center is hot. And let's do is it. Present? Guess what? I am present. Nice. Off you go. Nice. Oh my god, Glory. Would you please let me finish what I started? Jeez. I wonder how much health I actually lost due to Glory's friggin' shooting. Yeah, but that pushing oh, ability no. is Gen ones. very Man, useful. It's gotta be done. Boy, this is gonna Can't be. Just... I don't know. Yeah. 
he fell underneath the freaking stairs. How awesome. Is that all you got? messy in glory you did not make it easy ah, I'm complaining again she did she killed a lot of them so I can't say anything bad but the way she killed them made it very messy hi anymore I heard the voices of the synth I think there's more of them over here somewhere Get well, lost and detected. Sure, I can't the bad guys be yeah. together real time. Oh, Cents less, I guess. Five fifty six. Nah. I really don't need any ammo. Period. Because Mia doesn't use weapons. Thank you very much, Glory. I am a machine in that sense. I am more of a machine than Sensa. Ha! Ah, so it's all about timing right. Timing the push right. And it works pretty damn good. You have to press it a little bit earlier than the time you want to use it about one second maybe half a second and then it just works perfectly what the hell is that I'm just gonna let it, let Glory take care of this guy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. It 
Isn't that fun or what? Aluminum canister. It may become useful once I get into uh, building settlements and I do want to. Because I not sure but I may be um, I may get into uh, building settlements so after I'm done with railroad I may get back to rolling with uh, men and men and that Movement would mean detected. curious Oh, I really I am over encumbered. Uh. Missile launcher, okay, assault rifle. I don't really need it. Laser musket and could be useful, I guess. Hunting rifle, I don't need it. Double barrel shotgun. Uh, and a crunch, I guess. Yeah, whatever. I don't need that. Fifty sniper could be useful sometimes. Oh no, wait. Why does it say bolt action sniper? Is it a pipe rifle? Pipe revolver even? Fuck that, I don't want that. Pipe revolver, no. Got laser rifle, so I don't need a laser pistol. I got this one, so I don't need this one. Mm, I got the liver. Wow, I got almost 400 bullets for it. Which I'm not going to use, most likely. Alvar. Okay, so that makes me a lot lighter. Let me see with the weapons now. Yeah, those don't weigh anything. Valor hat. Don't need it. Casual dress. I don't need it. Does that doesn't weigh anything? Three sweater vest. Okay, that's um Yeah, hazmat t shirt could be useful, you never know. Those things are from the Jane Bot Hmm what the wear add on a mod I mean. Hmm, laceless shoes. Don't, those things don't weigh anything. Dog armor weighs three. That's not much. So what do I have that weighs this much? Oh, I probably have a lot of junk. A lot of weapons.
Wow, this guy fell down for a long time. Hi. Oh shit. I almost died. I guess it's too much to keep attention on pressing all the buttons and then keeping your life together. Ah, it's a leader. Mia doesn't care if it's a leader or a regular synth. She's gonna pound his ass into the ground anyway. First get the health back up. And now we can get back to action. Yes, it's been a pleasure. You were saying? Excuse me. And Malden is secure. I'll tell Griswold the package is incoming. It's been a goddamn pleasure. Yeah, pleasure was all mine. Pleasure was all mine. Aww. Now I'm going to cry. If everything runs like it's supposed to, our paths shouldn't cross again in the field. But knowing how pear-shaped things go, see you around. Yep, see you around, Glory. Uh, not really, I, I hope not. Because I am a loner type. The only... Companion, I accept this dog meat. No fiberglass now. But we definitely got to get back to the base and improve our ballistic weave. That's for sure. Uh, uh. Uh, aren't we finished here? Yeah. No action anymore. See you later. Get out of my way. <laughs> I love to do that. Check those guys. Ah, oh, I did not, obviously. The stim pack. Those are the, st the things I dropped. Another stim pack. Boy, I have to check the bodies better. Molotov cocktail, stim packs. complete I guess going up
I wonder who's actually listening to those things. And I wonder if actually after 200 years, after nuclear war, those kind of systems would be still functional. Obviously there would be no electricity because nuclear power plants would now work for long without people taking care of them. And without electricity, cooling system would not work either. So they would probably blow at some point. So there would be definitely no electricity. But I wonder how would that work? Yeah, I wish, I wish red scorpions have that vulnerability as Marluk had. The face. Okay. Guess we're heading back home and we need to upgrade Mia's armor. <sighs> Ooh, Super Mutant Town. Should I try to take care of it? First let me take care of the doggy. Just like that. And there's shitloads more of hounds in there and super mutants and there's one with rocket launcher so yeah that's um hmm. it's not a good idea to try to face them head on me and me i probably could do it if i really tried hard it would probably take me a couple deaths but I could do it but I just don't feel it would be believable you know I I get it me as unbelievable anyhow but this would be just too much in my opinion Okay, turrets. Let's take care of the turrets first. Those are Mark 1 turrets, so it should be quick. Oops, there's another one over here. Is there. Super mutant there too. If memory serves me right. Yeah, there's a guy in the corner. So I'm gonna sneak in there and attack the turret. Then the super mutant. All right, Mia, you ready? You're ready to do this. I know you are. 
You were born ready. So this is just one hit. Fuck. We don't have range. It's, ah, wrong button. We do have range. Mark one turns should be one hit. So the other guy is going to be the rest of the hits. took care of this stuff like a master that she actually is oh, oh well I kicked the mine Thank God it didn't explode. Mm. But yeah, Mia is badass like that. She just walks around kicking mines. And nothing seems to be getting her, damaging her, or wounding her. So let me try to get on the roof from the back. If it's even at all possible. First I gotta take care of the... Light. I hate lights. Okay, now let's see what we can see. This guy will probably see me once I try to get up the tree. Let me try to lure him. I'm going to shoot him once with a weapon. Yes, out there, somewhere, come to mama. Here, yeah, human, human, human. Are you coming? I'll treat for you. Fuck. There's one more. I hope he's not gonna attack me. Shit, he didn't see me. Fuck. Now he saw me. Well, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Until they calm down.
so I can get back to sneaking around. Yeah, doggy, I can kill pretty easy like that. I hope so. Yes, asking me to stop hiding will definitely help. It will definitely make me stop hiding. I can actually take care of them this way. Ah, it sounds like they have something else to take care of. So there's another one. Yeah, come here. Hey! Keep sending them my way. Mia loves dealing with the enemies one by one. That's her favorite way to deal with the enemies. And actually the only way she can properly deal with them. Wonder if I'm gonna be able to get up that tree. Yes, I am. It's awesome. I should probably get away from that light. And just wait. Be patient. Mia's way is to be patient and wait. Hide and wait. We did take care of a lot of them. So I wonder if there's another way I could lure them out. without getting them all my ass at once. If I could open the gates without alerting the dogs, wonder if that's possible. Well, I can save it here and just try it. So those hounds are pretty much blind, especially at night. So yes, this is exactly how Mia works. One by one. being hidden is there anybody home Uh, 
Obviously not. But Time to die. Somebody else is attacking super mutants. That's a nice distraction, I guess. Sounds like robots. Hey, it's nice help. I'll take it. Why does it sound like a steam engine steam whistle? Haha! <laughs> That's kind of weird. So you keep saying, uh, screaming. So the guy that was on the top no is no dead. Fair. Where's the guy that was screaming? No blood to spill today. Is he inside of the house or on top of the roof? Yeah, there he is. I hope there's only one guy over there. Hold on, let me just save first. And then attack this dude. No cut! Okay, just this guy. Pretty neat. Anybody else? Next customer, please. Is there anybody on the roof? I don't think there is. Hey! We cleaned up the city with the help of the robots, I guess. Now, let's report back home. Utility Protectron. And he's not an enemy either. He's green. So, he's not going to attack me. Huh. If my memory serves me well, there's shitloads of ghouls in that factory. So let's just be quiet. And when I say shitloads, I really mean shitloads. Maybe I was wrong, I don't know. Whatever. Right, Mia? Doesn't really matter. Mia just wants to get home and uh, upgrade her armor. That's all she's thinking about now.
For a second I thought some I thought I saw something moving. Uh, no, that way. I would say it's a good thing I didn't go that way. Some big boom boom. Boom boom bam bam. Happened there. Ouch. It's not what I wanted to do. Fucking serious. Oh, well. If you don't have if you don't have it in your head, you gotta have it in your legs. There's an old Polish saying. If you don't, if you're not thinking good enough to make yourself run less, you have to have it in your legs to be running a lot more. I don't remember being this parts those parts so there could be ghouls around here I'm not sure what I took but whatever all I know is I'm going the right way Huh, I'm almost home. But I need to be on the other side of the r r river. Hi. Um, bye. Why the hell was it running? Right away. Definitely useful. Or should I ask from what was it running? Maybe I should be running too. But ah oh well, we're almost home. I guess we can use the back entrance th today. That sound. Wow, wow. It's kind of weird. Oh, is that the pump making it? Looks like it. Weebo Abba. Weebo Abba. Home sweet home. Uh, 
I already emptied this. Bobby Pin's gonna be useful. Randolph safe house has got another dead drop for you. Yeah. Randolph safe house, safe house five. Pretty neat. Up there, assume you're being watched. Always. One more yep. hour until my shift ends. Don't walk away when I want to talk to you. Dr. Amari. She'll have more details on the route. I already finished. The been cleared. H-222 is safe to move. Dimension. I know. I already got an earful from Glory about Mother. Operational security is worth the occasional crossed one. Anyway, Amari reports H-222 made it out safely. Yeah. It was good to help out H2 again. Looks like he has a guardian angel. The crisis is over for now. Take this. You've earned it. Thank you. Ah. I forgot to save before I turned in the quest so that I could keep loading the game until I uh, got the proc from Idiot Savant, but I guess we're gonna have to wait for level till the next part of the video. I mean, next. Next part. Part number 14. But this one is not over just yet. I need to upgrade the armor. Yes, sir. Armored Gunner Harness. Ooh, so we're upgrading it to Mark IV. Ah, nice. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough material to upgrade the hat. The cap, I mean. Oh, it's all upgraded at once. Holy shit. Nice. I know how that works, but I'm not gonna complain. Ooh. Ah, excuse me. Yawning attacked me. So let's see. Wait, I thought I had 160 armor on each part, on each piece. Oh no, never mind. I was thinking about the general. So, all together, I have 200 armor and 205 energy resistance. That's how it works. So, wait, I don't get it. Why? How did it work that I did not have to upgrade the military cap? No, it looks like I do have to. Yeah, but I'm missing adhesive and fiberglass. Yeah, I'm gonna have to scavenge for that. But we do have 40 more armor. So that's nice. Uh, sorry, you were in a way. <laughs> I just love doing that. That, no, that was not Mia, that was me. Mia's not a mean-spirited person. 
she would not do that. She's not a bully. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and you were entertained by newest episode of Mia, Steel Fist in the Wasteland. So hit the like button or dislike if you didn't like it. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. Uh, and thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!